morning. So I'm now in Puerto Escondido for two weeks and I thought I'd film a day in my life here. Um, every day is different, some days I'm just working and then other days I'm exploring and doing different things. So today I've got a few things planned. So it's currently 6.30am and I'm gonna go for a dolphin watching tour at like sunrise basically. Um, and Apparently you can also see like um, stingrays and um, some like sea snakes um, and sea turtles as well. So I paid £24 and it lasts for about three hours. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I get to see some dolphins. Um, and then after I am going to a co-work space um, to do some work because unfortunately the intern is not great. Um, and then later on maybe go to a beach. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at marisa.voyadzi for more travel content. I post a lot about solo and budget travel and traveling by public transport since I don't drive. Um, and yeah, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this video. workspace I'm in the little private cabin because I'm teaching some lessons for um, a few hours and then I'm gonna go back to the normal bit with others um, so I'm at Los Odelli um, co-work space it's like a co-living and co-work but um, I'm just paying for the co-work pass just like the day pass and it costs 109 pesos which is about seven pounds sixty for the day, uh, the internet is so good, it's so fast, it's amazing. Um, so the reason I'm doing the co-work space is because Puerto Escondido, well, generally it's not really good with internet and the Airbnb I was staying in was supposed to have um, good, but unfortunately it's just, I'm not able to do any video calls or anything, so I came here for the day. Um, and I also just love the vibe of co-work spaces, um, just everyone's like working and things and it's got a swimming pool which is a plus so that's included in the price so you can use it as well and it's got free tea, coffee and water, it's got air conditioning and um, like I said this private room you can book it up to four hours max per day which is nice for like meetings, video calls, teaching lessons like I'm doing um, but yeah the staff are really friendly and helpful so I'd definitely recommend coming here. so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, hopefully it just give you an idea of what a day in Puerto Escondido could look like as a um, remote worker. Um, after this I'm going to Mexico City so I'm really excited for that as well. And yeah like I said you can follow me on Instagram at marisa.voyadzi and yeah um, and I'll see you next time.